Hello again, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining me on my latest restoration from Diecast Powder Coat and Restoration. Today we will be restoring a Corgi Jaguar Mark 10, number 238. Well, it's in fairly good condition, just a bit uh, roughed up paintwork. But uh, let's have a little look and see what we can do with it. I say well, the base is very good. The body works okay, and also the windscreen is okay. It has an opening boot and bonnet. It's got the dual headlights. Well, first of all, we're going to just drill out the two rivets with a pilot drill. And then just a larger drill to drill out the flanges of the rivets. Using the dentistry tool, we can just lift off the base. The seating area is very good condition. As I mentioned, so is the glass. But it's all the bits together. None of the tires survived. They were very brittle. So we do have some new tires to go on. And with a bit of trouble, managed to get the headlights out using some paraffin just to soak in behind. And they came out very easily. The well, first thing to do is to wash the glass so I can get that dipped in Pledge Revive it and it starts drying. And then the seats didn't really need cleaning, but might as well be in with there. And as I said, it's going to drop the glass into some pledge, revive it. Get into the uh, media blaster now. As I mentioned before, I use aluminium oxide, and it makes quite an easy job on the paintwork. Okay, back from the media blaster now. We have the uh, three separate parts, the bonnet, the boot, and the main casting. So we start with the usual spinning wire, just, spinning wire brush treatment on it. And then our fast rub over with some acetone. Well, I put them in the oven now for their first bake for 180 degrees. That's just to burn out the impurities. And whilst that's happening, oh, I'm just going to give the wheels a good polish with some autosol. I've also polished the base and you can see all the wheels have come out very nicely.
and on goes the brand new tyres. Get back from the first bacon in the oven and another quick rub over with some acetone again. And now time for powder coating using something a little bit different today this is electrostatic magic gloss gold so we'll see how this turns out and then once this is done they go into the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees and there we go back from the oven uh, it's come out very well lovely smooth paintwork now I've put all the uh, seating area, the glass back in, and now it's just time to do the false fake rivets. Takes a little bit of extra care on this one because the there's a spring that uh, that holds the bonnet down, uh, and which also pushes up the base. So I have to be a little bit extra careful and a little bit extra glue. And this one was rather fiddly. And with my little bit of chrome pen around the grill, lights are back in. And I've also re chromed the engine. So that's it, she's just about ready. So let's have a little look of what she used to look like. Not bad, just the usual faded paint and chipped. Interior was very good, the glass the seats the tires were very brittle and just cracked off so they got nice new tires on again okay and let's have a look what she looks like now well lovely gold paintwork although uh, under the lights it looks a little bit speckly uh, like a metallic but when you look at it in person it doesn't so it does look very nice in real life. It's got the new tyres, as I say. And I hope you do like this paintwork. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again very shortly. Goodbye for now. Thank you.